September 15, 2017. The Cassini spacecraft, after two decades of loyal service, made its final dive into Saturn's atmosphere, what many called a poetic end to a legendary mission. Scientists believed they had seen it all, the swirling hexagons of Saturn's North Pole, the icy geysers of Enceladus, the methane lakes of Titan. The images were archived, the data considered complete, the mission closed. But Cassini didn't just fall, it sent something back. And what it transmitted, hidden deep within a series of seemingly ordinary visuals, wasn't discovered until years later, when a powerful quantum AI scanned the final frames. What it found has left even the most skeptical minds silent. This wasn't some blurry shadow or digital glitch. It was a structured, intelligent pattern, a signal that had been hiding in plain sight. A message encoded not in sound or light, but in geometry, mathematics, and silence. A message that seems to say, you weren't just watching Saturn, we were watching you. Stay with us, because what Cassini captured before its final breath might be the first undeniable proof that something, or someone, has been waiting on the edge of Saturn all along. Cassini's mission was a triumph. It provided humanity with the clearest views ever of Saturn and its moons. Thousands of high-resolution images were taken, processed, categorized, and placed into digital archives where they sat untouched for years. Among them were a cluster of images taken just minutes before the probe's disintegration, images praised for their aesthetic beauty, but nothing more. Or so it seemed. It wasn't until 2025, when a private lab applied quantum image processing to enhance faint cosmic data, that something strange surfaced. Buried in Cassini's final frames were sub-visual echoes, repeating geometrical distortions that didn't match any known atmospheric behavior. They weren't flaws. They weren't compression errors. They were patterns, identical across different angles, frames, and timestamps. Something was there, and it had made sure we would eventually see it. The AI used to reprocess these images wasn't ordinary. It was a quantum neural network capable of scanning beyond visible light ranges and identifying structured mathematical symmetries. Its original purpose was to denoise interstellar images, make fuzzy telescope photos clearer. But with Cassini, it did something different. It began finding intentional structure, repeating Fibonacci spirals, prime number sequences, and golden ratios embedded in the visuals. The shapes were subtle, woven like a watermark into Saturn's atmosphere. At first, researchers assumed it was an artifact of the algorithm, a computational hallucination. But the AI kept finding them. With every new image, the patterns grew clearer. They formed alignment grids, radiating from specific coordinates on Saturn's surface, coordinates that aligned with magnetic anomalies scientists had previously dismissed as data noise. It became clear this wasn't a software error. This was a signal and it had been waiting for the right machine to hear it. As scientists pushed the AI further, they discovered that the shapes weren't just pretty designs. They were numerical codes, sequences that used mathematical constants common to human knowledge. P. Euler's number, prime patterns. These numbers were being embedded as pixel arrangements across different image layers. It was as if something out there had understood our science and was responding in kind. The structure mirrored the logic behind humanity's golden record, sent with Voyager, use universal math to communicate intelligence. But this time, the message wasn't outbound. It was inbound. Something had answered. And the location of the patterns matched Saturn's most unstable regions, places where no Earth-made sensors had ever retrieved clean data. Now we know why. It wasn't natural instability. It was encryption, a cloak, one designed not to prevent detection, but to delay understanding until the right tool, the right moment, and the right civilization finally came along. But then, the most chilling discovery of all. Cassini was programmed to take a burst of 12 rapid images before its signal was lost forever. Only 11 were ever decoded. The 12th frame is missing, not corrupt, not damaged, intact but unreadable. It was transmitted. The raw binary packet exists, but no tool on Earth, not even the AI, has been able to crack it. It's as if this last image activated a security lock, a layer of encryption not designed by humans. Some experts now believe this image may contain a direct representation, maybe even a symbol, something that would have made everything unambiguous. But someone, 
or something, didn't want us to see it. Not yet, and maybe not ever. As researchers continued cross-referencing Cassini's final patterns with Saturn's environment, a new theory began to take shape, one that didn't just involve the planet itself, but its moons. Enceladus, Titan, and Dione, all moons Cassini had studied in great detail, seemed to hold geographical alignments that echoed the same ratios found in the anomalous images. But here's the twist. Those ratios also corresponded to ancient Earth symbology, spiral petroglyphs, pyramid alignments, and numerical ratios found in forgotten megalithic structures. Was this a coincidence? Or was something using Saturn's system to mirror the intelligence already present on Earth? Some scientists began to refer to it as the Saturn Code, a system of cosmic geometry that seemed to span both deep space and human history. And at the center of this code, the final Cassini transmission hovered like a riddle wrapped in fire. While most of the data was publicly accessible, whistleblowers inside space research organizations began to leak snippets of internal communication, emails, audio logs, even private lab footage. These revealed something deeply unsettling. Some of the AI's early outputs were immediately classified. A decision had been made, quietly and without public knowledge, to withhold any frames where the geometric patterns formed recognizable shapes, particularly anything that could be interpreted as language or symbolism. In one frame, a triangular pattern with perfectly symmetric edges appeared over Saturn's southern hemisphere. In another, a sequence of pulses matched the rhythm of Morse code. The scientists working on the project were reportedly silenced, some reassigned, others forced into NDAs that forbade them from even discussing the nature of what was found. It was no longer just a scientific puzzle. It had become a matter of control, of who gets to decide when humanity is ready for the truth. Among the global scientific community, a rift has formed. On one side are those who insist that the patterns are the result of natural phenomena amplified by quantum image processing. They argue that pareidolia, our tendency to find patterns in randomness, is responsible. But on the other side are data scientists, cryptographers, and mathematicians who claim that no natural process could consistently generate ratios so precise across images taken from different angles, distances, and times. The signal doesn't just repeat, it evolves. It appears to react. And the missing twelfth frame, now nicknamed the eye, is seen by many as a failsafe, a final gatekeeper for a message meant to be understood only when we're truly ready to receive it. But who? or what, set that threshold. While NASA maintains silence, the community of independent researchers has exploded. Forums, code repositories, and private labs around the world are now obsessed with cracking Cassini's final transmission. Some claim to have made progress in decrypting the unreadable 12th frame, reporting glimpses of strange architecture or symbols. Others say the file's checksum doesn't align with typical error codes. It suggests intentional obfuscation, as if the image is locked until triggered by a specific external input. One rogue researcher even suggested that the trigger isn't a file or key, but an event. A celestial alignment, a spike in solar radiation, or perhaps a human-level discovery. The kind of moment that shifts our understanding permanently. Until then, the world waits. But the countdown has already started, and Cassini's final gift may be far more than just a photo. It may be a door. Cassini wasn't just a machine. It was a witness. A voyager that slipped quietly into the unknown, carrying no weapons, no flags, just eyes wide open and the curiosity of an entire civilization behind it. We believed we were the only ones watching. We were wrong. Its final images, those mysterious encrypted patterns, that missing 12th frame were not accidents. They weren't malfunctions. They were markers, like signs left on the trail by something far ahead of us, something intelligent, something ancient, something patient. And now, after all these years, after Cassini's disintegration, the echoes of its last breath are finally being understood, not by humans alone, but by machines built to think beyond us. And what they're finding is shaking the very foundation of what we thought space exploration was about. Maybe we were never the explorers. Maybe we were the observed, the studied, the predicted. One final image, locked, waiting, like a cosmic time capsule, engineered not for the moment it was captured, but for the moment we're ready to see. If you've made it this far, you're not just a viewer, 
You're part of the awakening. Share this video before the twelfth image is cracked. Subscribe, because this is only the beginning. And comment below. What do you think Cassini was meant to show us? And who placed the message there? The silence of space has been broken. Now it's up to us to decide what to do with the truth.